you have persons who are innovators, inventors, structurers, builders, tuners of the instrument. Then they go so far to also to be good players. But they are the only pioneers. These are the persons like Nobel Jews, Ellie Manet, Anthony Williams, and in recent time people as Boti Marshall and the great and the great deceased, the Dolchas. See like a drum that is good though. Sink in it, oh, that big sledge. Then you draft out your notes. When you draft out your notes, then you had to groove it. You ham it, you know, beat it back. Then you groove it. Then all of this you cut it according to length. And when you fire it up a little bit, you put it on a little fire, you burn it. And you pitch it. Get ready for chroming. I was really born in St. Vincent Street. When I was a little boy, my mother and my father moved to John John. And it's there I started to see Steve Band from them as a little boy. Talking about six, seven years old. Going to the arm. Um, St. Philippe's school, I just spray on them. You know what I mean? Doing the thing. When I hear the melody, start to come into the panel thing, and I used to play more organ and thing. So, I run away and used to go below a house. Known to be pan because my mother didn't like steel band at all. She wanted me to be a doctor. I started working on a small biscuit tin as it was pan. I put four notes and made it into and played Mary had a little land. The Americans had a, a bass down on Mukurap one, they had a little abundance of oil drums scattered there, dumped there. So I got uh, one day a roller put down the drum on a Saturday, work on the oil drum. And then I want to tune too, so I go up in, you know, in the bush in them days, in the back of the they have, you know, a little ravine and bush of things walking there. We light up, we fire and try to the pan. We don't just always see spree on them, do not. At the time we tried to burn a pan below the house. And in those, the house I'm talking about was about two feet off the ground, you know, a low house. So we get in below there and we light the fire. Two or three feet of the and we light a fire and the fire get out of control because we know the house have a lot of rubbish. But you talk about it. The spider came out in 1952. It's, it's designed in Fort Sunfish. That is was C, F, C, D, E, F. I drew some straight lines from the center to the outside of the pan to the edge of the drum. And made some straight lines crossing and it appeared to be a spider web and somebody said it looked like a spider web called it spider web and so it got his name spider web first thing happened we get an old band from tokyo and i'm trying to tune it over and so from that age that right, young age i started really because it's a pretty harmonica and he man, harmonica helped me in later days because when I discover harmonics, which is a new order, the order they use today in children's pan, it's really harmonica. By hand, you overtones. And I started to experiment. I experiment for a long while. And then about in 1956, I started to, 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 to get the harmonics because I experiment for a while, you know? And I started to get the harmonics. And from there, silver stars and most of the bands come around me to, you know, to, to tune the bands and things. But in those days, you know, they had no money and thing. After that, I started working on pan on stands, the second pan. I put them on, a, I made a wooden stand for it, and 
uh, hang it on the stand because it was it sounded it better when it was hanging. I know this when it rests on a leg, it kills some of the reverberation. I wanted a music chromatic bass on the road. So uh, we couldn't put the panel around the neck on the road because we had to get the bass, and the bass contained three drums at the time. So we couldn't carry three oil drums around the neck. So we had to put it on wheels, so I put pan on wheels in 1956. <laughs> Experience too was a, a, a entertaining the Americans and Chagaramas. We used to play down there two or three nights a week. But then in, uh, around 56, when Eric Williams and them come and put the power and they decided to um, take over the base now. They, they say, well, the base, uh, the, 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 the entertainment that I cut down there. And I was forced to come and open, organize my band, reorganize my band for, for parties on the outside now, you know, organize a bigger band. Carl used to use about eight men down there. Money was small, but he used to share. But the change started happening when they organized more competition, and then they started open things like association, and then fellas experimenting, you know, and uh, well, the place getting more um, enlightened, and uh, just so the steel band was progressing because the steel band started to play, uh, started to play a lot of great music. Before they even had uh, instruments probably tuned. You know what I mean? Griffith, um, Griffith and them when they went to Tasco days, pan just some refiner though. But they know they had something. Just around that time too. Um, pan used to get a lot of parties. Sometimes they have three steel bands, one with one. Tasco made a great effect on the steel band. It introduced the chromatic steel band. Prior to that, only the ping pong was tuned to the chromatic scale. But Griffith wanted a chromatic steel band. Joseph Griffith was the musical director. So he introduced the chromatic tenor bomb, the bass, and the double second, and the alto pong. So that was how Taspo came to be a popular steel band. And they were able to play almost any type of music on the pans with the chromatic steel band. In 1951, Taspo went to Britain to perform at the Festival of Britain. And there they played on television and at the Savoy Hotel. And uh, as a Mecca dance hall, a chain of dance halls called the Mecca dance halls. And then they went to Paris and played at the Medrano Circus. They are always trying to introduce a um, wider range of bands. And until I end up with the lady did my divine. You know, trying to cut down the size of the steel band because I find it economically it was now um, profitable. But the best um, thing was in the late half when I get on to trying to elongate the notes. You know, like the eternal note and you could um, between the, the the thing and the decay, the evolution and the decay. It, 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 it could linger instead of you had to roll. You could roll if you want, but I feel that um, you know, I, Continuous song when you strike it, a continuous song. But then you had to control that, you know. So this way, a mechanical part had to come in and thing. I was on a good thing, and then I had a disastrous fire. They burned out everything. So I never go back into that. Then in ninety centers, I had a hook. Ninety centers, I had a hook of wood. I'm the sparrows. You know, for them for about twenty-two years, you know. And he like experiments too. So both of we meet up, and then we bring all this quad for him. You know, martial tunes, anything, he consulted me because you know I am more experienced in the tuning than him. But he have ideas and we used to work together. I miss him a lot for that. Say we got to find the hammer. 